to each other. When they do that, they get slightly heavier. When they're slightly heavier, gravity takes hold. They drop out of suspension, build up in the bottom. Now you have cleaner, clearer water. And I shouldn't say cleaner water, you have clearer water. It's gonna remove those sediments from the water column. Now you have a better water source that you could actually manage. Once we have that sediment removed, we have an easy way to remove it periodically. Centipede system, snorkels, yes, pump know. that stuff yeah. out. That material is basically, it's an alluvial soil. Alluvial soils are found along the riverbeds of every major lake, river, stream around the world. It is the richest soil on planet Earth. It is loaded with everything that you need for a garden. So you pump all that gunk out, put it in the surrounding landscape. Your plants are gonna love it. Your water feature is gonna love it. Then once you have that control, then we take that water, pump it through the wetland filter, and we could 100% manage that water because it's not just philosophical. I have done this on many, many projects. One of them that sticks in my mind is Borner Botanical Garden, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I was hired by the botanical garden, but it was a grant by the city of Milwaukee to protect the Root River, which flows directly into Lake Michigan, to keep it free of sediments. It's been a home run project. I built that back in 2009, and it has been working flawlessly ever since. Awesome. That was awesome. Zane, no, that, that's <laughs> oh, the most sorry. insane. Zane, I'll see you soon. I got a lot of information here, so we're going to put together some drawings and figure out exactly the best plan for you.